Hello everyone, this is Aya from Hinawi Software. This is a short video to demonstrate for you a very important point in the system where a lot of users get confused and ask a lot about it actually. So the main topic is the payroll menu, more specifically how to distinguish between employees which will appear in the HR payroll list and the employees which will appear in the timesheet payroll list. So many users, more specifically uh, users who are using the HR module uh, when creating the payroll for their company or their workplace, uh, they realize that some employees are missing from that list of the HR payroll. So they start wondering what is the reason. So mainly the main reason behind that is there is an option for each and every employee to be selected whether generation of salary sheet or payroll is according to HR process or according to timesheet process. So this will, of course, uh, accumulate and gets built up when going to the payment of the salary sheet. So in case you create uh, a salary sheet based on HR procedure and process, you will be able to find that payment to continue the process completely in the HR uh, payment list right here for non-WPS employees or in the HR uh, list of payment for WPS in case that employee was selected as WPS. So here we have two options for payment uh, regarding HR employees or, or employees who have their salary sheets generated as HR, which are the WPS and the non-WPS. The other option is timesheet payment for employees, uh, whether selected as non-WPS from here or for timesheet, whether they're selected as WPS. So it's all basically just a workflow. Whenever you create, approve, you go to payment, but make sure in order to view the employee in the list that it's selected in the HR payroll or timesheet payroll in order to avoid having some employees here and some employees there. So what exactly is the, the process, the procedure to check whether it's here or there? All you have to do is go to manage employees, then employee list. And then after it displays all employees for you, double click on any of the, those employees and it will show you whether generating of the salary sheet is selected as HR or human resources or as timesheet. So here it just displays that information for you. But in case you want to change that itself, change it to a different option, all you have to do is to just go to timesheet menu and then assign employees to timesheet. Afterwards, click select the company you want since this system allows multi-company uh, company addition and then click on view. And then here you will be able to select whether for each employee the salary sheet is from HR or from timesheet. When you check on the box you want, it will disappear from the other checkbox. So it will be selected in only one. After the, afterwards, all you have to do is just click on save. And that's it. Basically, this is the main topic and how to distinguish among them in order to complete the, the payroll and the salary sheet process 100%. Thank you.